Today we are building some growing lights, so stay tuned! We have had sunny weather for over a week, but now the snow hits again. To be able to grow good seedlings, you have to have a good amount of light. So let's hurry building some grow lights. First, we go out to the garage and drill holes in the aluminium profile to be able to attach the LEDs. Each one of these LEDs draws about 10 watts of power. I don't know how many lumens they produce, but we will find that out when we start using them. I use some electrical tape just to be sure we won't get any connection touching the profile. I apply the thermal compound to make a good thermal connection between the aluminium and the LEDs. Then we use small screws to attach them. Note that every second LED are turned 180 degrees. This is to make the connection work easy. We are going to connect them in series. That will mean that the positive connection goes to the negative connection of the next LED and so on. I cut some wire and we solder them together. I take a long wire that will connect to the positive connection of one LED in one of the end of the light and the other wire to the negative in the other end. In this way we have connected them so they require about 84 volts.
I will use this LED driver for this project. It's a LCM60. You can't use an ordinary power brick, then you would ruin the LEDs. I connect the positive side to the positive terminal in the driver and the negative to the negative terminal in the driver. Then I use a power cable that I attached in the 230 volt connection on the driver. So let's try it. It's hard to see, but these are really bright. The camera is compensating for that. But if you imagine that they are three times brighter than it seems in the video, you'll understand how bright they are. It will be really interesting to see how good they work on bringing up the seedlings. Last year I used a single 100 watt LED for my seedlings. The light was really concentrated on one tray, so with this setup I will be able to spread the light better over several trays. That's it for this episode. If you got any questions, please leave them in the comments. Have an awesome week and I will see you in the next episode. If you haven't subscribed already, do so by clicking down there on the Swedish flag. And then you can also click on the little bell icon up there. And then you'll get notified when I put up new videos. And if you want to watch another video, I got one over there for you.